<laughs> he meant that one. Ain't good. This ain't good. I'm telling you right now. Hey guys, you're about to see the best day of fishing I've had in New York all year. Wasn't really catching much in the beginning, then a crazy windstorm blew in, tried to blow me out of my kayak, and then I started catching fish like crazy after that. So here it is, hopefully enjoy, thanks for watching. Catch myself right here. And we're gonna throw the helper mite right into that current. All right, here we go. Fish number one, about seven inches long. This is, this might actually be pretty big. It's huge, look at my pole, this is my heavy pod. God, that's a big palm out. I didn't set the hook good, so I wouldn't be surprised if I lose him. Look at my pole, he won't give up. I should have my net out. <laughs> I'm gonna guess almost two. 1.75. Do it again. 1.63. So, that was a nice one. I've been catching a lot of these one and a six, 1 1.6 pounds smallmouth lately. Man, that's a nice fish. The Helger might just like let it sit on the bottom for a minute. That would probably work too. I just think the Helger might's like really good for some reason. And they're gonna sit right where the water slows down, right where they can be off the current a little bit. Which is why I threw right, <laughs> right beside that rock when I come in there. The three inch Nico Helger mite. I think it's the natural color. And that hook is actually, he bent that hook. That's crazy. Tiff, you see that? It wasn't supposed to rain, but it's gonna rain. Oh my. What do you think? Do you, are you seeing this? My phone said it wasn't even gonna rain. This is like a hurricane again. Jeez, this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. <laughs> This side, like, we're not gonna get clobbered by a five million pound tree. Still might get struck by lightning, but. Oh my god, it I pulled a paw out of my hands. Oh my god. Oh, that was crazy. Oh my god. Oh, that was crazy. Oh my god. I even let it back down and they ate it. I watched them come up. Yeah, I've never seen it like that in my life. They were all big fish. Third one, I watched them come up, I let it back down. He had his mouth and missed the hook. Things were like piranhas. They were fighting over it, like three big ones.
It's big, Tim. It's real big. Stay down. I said the hook, it felt like a rock. It's big. It's big. Oh. He pulled me offshore. You see this? This is big. Oh, man. This is probably two and a half. Oh, my God, Tim. Look at him go. I can't. I don't have my net. Oh my god. Oh, 2.3. Oh. oh, he just bit me. Oh, dude, look at the size of him. Good. There we go, guys. <laughs> That's what I've been fishing for for so long. 2.3 pounds. I'll take it. Let's let him go. Oh, not a PB, but damn close. <laughs> Dude, I set that hook. It was like I set a hook in a rock. <laughs> if I could do that once a day, I'd be so happy. Now, I knew this spot from last time. There was fish in there. There's another one. Yep. I remember this spot, from, he's a little small, he's probably one pound maybe. But I remember this spot from last time we came here with the tube. They were following it, but they weren't eating it. That little guy. But basically, Tiff, see all these leaves on top of the water right there? You got one. Oh. That storm got them all riled up. It got me riled up too, but. But anyways, all the chaos, I was trying to say I remember from last time we were here and I was trying to use the tube. I saw fish fall on my tube, but they weren't taking it for some reason. And we ain't catching fish nowhere else, so I figured, you know, try over here, especially because the wind was blowing us up. It was dangerous underneath those trees over there. So we always caught fish right before that rock on this, you know, a little bit farther past the river. And another one, he's smaller or he's swimming towards me. It's a stick. <laughs> it's a stick. Got a little fight in him. That's okay, I'll take him. That's not a bad fit. Hopefully, okay. a lot in these guys with that white on their gill plates. But there's another one. We'll let him go. Oh, he stunk. Some of them smell like disgusting. This ain't coming out. That's it for my Helgramite. Oh, I got it. You can see where all the debris is. That's where they're eating the bugs at. I got one. I had no idea he was on here. Uh, it's another good one, Tiff. Right over here. Oh, he just spit up a crab. Uh, it's another good one, Tiff. There we go. Another good one right over there. 
mean, he's not badly weakly enough. I want to get him back in. Dude, he was going to take my pole. He literally was swimming on. Did you see that? My line was just going. <laughs> he's literally going to swim off my pole. Another one on the hell of a bike. That's that's a good one. They pick it up and they run with it because they don't want nothing else to get it. Which means that there's probably a couple of other ones over there. I'm almost using this thing like bait. You know what I mean? Like I'm not even like bass fishing. I'm just like <laughs> I'm literally like using it like bait. Man, he is fat. Get another one on the Nedrig. Well, on the Eldermite Nedrig. No way. This is a good one, Tiff. Another good one. <laughs> Dude, his mouth is so small for how big he is. Let's see how big he is. 1.68. 1.68. That is a nice small. He is so fat. Look at that belly. <sighs> yeah, why can't you get it? I'm over there catching giants, and you need me to unhook this fish. Yeah. There we go. Can't believe they could see that. Your thing's about to fall off, but it's on there. Oh, I just broke off. I just broke off. Oh, I should have retied. I caught so many fish with that. Well, all we got now is a spinner. At this point, I'm just throwing my spinner to help me like, well, A, I'm fishing and it's pulling me down. No way. Oh yeah, this is a good one, Tiff. Uh, okay, another one and a half maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Dude, I am tearing it up today. 1.26, okay. It's getting dark, I can't see, but still. 1.26, that's a decent fish, you know? All right, I'm done, I'm done. Done. Done catching fish. 